Yeah, well, I was contacted by a Polish journalist and she compelled me to write my, my memoir about um, playing basketball in uh, Poland. And I really want my readers to know how I feel uh, about Poland and that Poland and Lubin were historically the first countries to have an uh, American behind the, the Iron Curtain. And I think that's something that should be really recognized. It, it took to the year 2019 when the, uh, the journalist actually told me that uh, I was the first and I was, wasn't really sure, and I was thinking, well, I was just playing basketball there, but she said, no, no, it was much, much more. It was history. I just wanted to thank you very much, Mr. Marshall, to Jarosław Stagerski, for the fact that it was able to get this book in Poland, to explain it, and that it will be available on the Polish market for all the people who remember the Y Kenta, for the start of the Kenta, dla startu Lublin, ale i pamiętają tamte czasy i jak te czasy się zmieniły dzisiaj, to w dzisiejszych czasach jest bardzo ważna rzecz. Dbanie i pamiętanie o tą historię i, i że mogliśmy się spotkać w tak zacnym gronie i, i doprowadzić do tego, że ta książka została wydana i że Kent jest w Polsce. Um, I was very surprised and very humbled. Um, I didn't know if anybody would actually remember me and I was very happy to know that not only did the older generation uh, remember me but the younger kids did too. I guess the story of me playing here really kind of kind of trickled down through them to their their children. I realize now that Lugan is my home and that I'm always welcome here and that's good to, to really know. It's my pleasure to, to see you. When I was studying uh, yeah. 30 years ago, so uh, I saw you playing. I, I, I didn't really know what to expect. I mean, obviously, I know his story and it's quite amazing, but you don't know how um, like he was saying that how many people are actually going to uh, recognize him and during the press conference there was one time that he he actually started getting teary-eyed and when I see him getting teary-eyed I know it's a lot of emotion and you sympathize and you you feel it you feel it it's special The city's changes, the buildings, the technology, uh, everything looks really pretty. But I wasn't sure if the soul of Lubin, the people, would still be welcoming. And I found out that they really are. The Lubin soul is still there and I always feel like I'm coming home. It was uh, really good for me to see where his, his history comes from, where the, the places, the people that he talks about, the city and the support he got and how welcomed he felt. I'll be back here anytime they want me back or we'll just come back on a vacation because, well, like I said, Lublin feels like home. <laughs>